So what do you get when you mix a beauty queen with wine, sugar, and a good cause? A sweet recipe for success. Mm, that sounds yummy. Mm. Yeah, joining <laughs> us with more on Baking for a Better World is the co-founder of the Meriwether Foundation and Miss USA 2012, Nana Meriwether. Hi, guys. Hi. I don't Welcome. even know how to do that. Oh, we don't do this. Come on. Come on. You know, they didn't practice right like yes. for weeks on end? No, I just go, hey. Uh, oh, <laughs> gosh. All right. Well, speaking of hey and the wave, hey. <laughs> you have to take us back to 2012. What was going through your head when you were crowned Miss USA? Yes. Well, it was really new, unique the way I won. I had gotten first runner up at Miss USA, and the girl who won won Miss Universe, and that hasn't happened in 15 years. So um, when she won, I got a call from the Miss Universe organization and they're like, you're the new Miss USA. Do you want the title? I was like, yeah, yeah. I want the title. <laughs> so Donald Trump owns the, the pageant, and mm -hmm. so he had a huge press conference at Trump Tower, and it was such a unique time. It was a great chapter. Oh, wow. look at you with the crown. You look stunning. <laughs> Thank you. Well, where is the crown? Yeah. It's in a vault. Really? really? The girls seldom wear the crown. We usually mm -hmm. just go around town in the sash. And, you know, the life of Miss USA is actually, I think, I think it's kind of like being president. Mm -hmm. you, got a, you got an email every day at 6 p.m. with your schedule of what to wear, who you're seeing, um, where you're going, what time to pick you up, minute by wow. minute. And, and then you just follow. And I, I never saw any of my friends, oh, all my New York so friends, because I was stuck in this <laughs> title and this reign the whole well, time. Well, during that title and during your reign, what were you doing? What type of you know, activities were you involved in? Well, the Miss Universe organization is, is great. And as Miss USA, you get to champion the cause of breast and ovarian cancer. Mm. So I did a lot of, um, a, a lot of appearances based mm -hmm. on that. I supported charities. And I also. I have my own charity, and mm -hmm. what's great is the Miss Universe organization tailors the year according to the girl. Really? And um, I do a lot of work in Africa, and I actually got to take a trip um, on behalf of my foundation to South Africa, and it was really, really nice. amazing. Well, let's talk about your foundation. Tell us more about it. You brought cupcakes, so yes. I, I want to talk about <laughs> yes. those, and we're going to eat them, too. <laughs> yes. yes! Wait, you eat cupcakes? Yes! Well, not in I that do! Loud. No. I love them! In yes. that pencil skirt? I no way. A, <laughs> I, I have a sweet tooth. Huge sweet tooth. So yes, I definitely do eat cupcakes. Oh, I love it. Beauty and bread. Yes. yes. <laughs> Beauty and bread. I love that. Well, um, I'm half South African. My mom was born and raised in South Africa during apartheid. So she had no opportunity growing up. And she used education as a way to better her life. Mm. And she ended up um, earning a United Nations scholarship to come study in the States. Really? And to this day, she's a lawyer. She has an MBA and she's a CPA. And while she was studying here in the States, she met my father, who is an American doctor. He was the first African American to go to Duke University Medical School. Wow. wow. And he had to chase her around. Like, ah. She's like, I'm not interested. <laughs> but finally, they she got married. She played hard to right, get. Yeah, right. she did. Love that. Like a proper <laughs> African woman. Yeah, I like that's that. right. Yeah. That's right. So they got married. And in the early 1980s, they moved to South Africa um, to a very rural poor town, and my dad um, worked in the hospital there. He earned something like $200 a month. Mm. It was pretty much pro bono. And my mom would work in the community to empower women. Hmm. And so, so you grew up seeing yeah, your parents give back. Absolutely. I was so, actually born in to that way of life. Mm -hmm. So why was it important for you to follow in your parents' footsteps? Yeah, well, my parents have always been great inspirations. And all throughout my life, we left when I was three or four years old. Um, we were there for, they were there for eight years, and they helped over half a million people while they were there. But we left in the early 90s, and um, just all throughout my life, we've traveled back and forth. Mm -hmm. And it was important to, uh, you know, carry on the legacy of my parents and their work. And because it's a part of me, it's a part of my family, it's a part of who I am. And now um, our foundation and the work we do is in five countries, not only in South wow. Africa, but we're in Zambia, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, and Malawi. And you're bringing health care and education to yeah. those countries. Yes. And now you have this exciting project you're working on with cupcakes yes. and wine tasting. <laughs> yes. So it's, we have to think of creative, creative ways to fundraise. No one just gives money anymore, and that's not fun. So Mary with her foundation can't. throws frequent events around New York City, and we're branching out to DC and LA as well. Mm -hmm. And on March 27th, next mm -hmm. Thursday, uh, we are having a cupcake making class. And we're Ooh. pairing it with a wine tasting. So it's going to be a fun night at Butter Lane uh, in the East Village from 8 to 10 PM. And you can find out more information at meriwetherfoundation.org and get, get a seat. But 
I'm a And wait, people are actually going to make cupcakes with make you. Cupcakes. Like learn how to bake and yeah. icing and, and everything. Yeah, and eat them. Oh, the, your favorite part. <laughs> yes, of course. And we also have fabulous gift bags to give away. Um, we're partnering with Beamy New York, their lingerie brand. Mm -hmm. um, really, really great underwear. So come on by. You can eat cupcakes and get panties. Oh, oh <laughs> and drink wine. And panties for a good cause. Yes. <laughs> okay. We're throwing it all out there. <laughs> Why cupcakes and why panties? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I've done a lot of work with Beamy and they're a great brand. They mm -hmm. really celebrate the real woman. Yes. Mm -hmm. A lot of their ads aren't photoshopped and it's real women with curves and mm -hmm. it's something that I, I really truly believe in. So I definitely partnered with them and they're going to be a lot of they're going to be sponsors for a lot of our events. But um, for cupcakes, I structure the events we do based off things I want to do. I think cupcake making is fun. Mm -hmm. Last weekend we had a spin class, a charity spin class. It was packed. It was so fun and energetic. We have an Italian food tour coming wow. up when it's uh, warmer. And we're also going to have a gala in the Hamptons. And where can we learn about all these events again? And all our events are listed on MeriwetherFoundation.org and everyone's invited. So okay. come. So I, we go, like Shannon, I think look, I found my new best I friend. Yes. Well, I want to see your best friend eat one of these cupcakes. Oh, yeah. I don't believe it. Look, okay. Let's this see. one has popcorn on it. <laughs> popcorn. Oh, so okay. I'm guessing it's going to be that kind okay, of salty so We're going to see you eat that. Then we're going to go to break. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Happy yeah. cupcake. Right. Happy cupcake. <laughs> there she goes. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360. Mm.